Welcome back to George Woodshop. In this video, we get a start on our wall hanging tool shed. George Woodshop is sponsored by Minimax and by I Would Like. Check out their products at iwouldlike.com. The design for this tool chest is fairly simple. It's just a dovetailed case with a shelf. There's a couple of drawers in it for storing small things. And to jazz things up a bit, I added a small square shelf for storing things like block planes. And then to add a bit of visual interest, I also divided the door up into two different panels instead of just one. Now, like all major builds for the channel, I have made a set of detailed plans available, which you can download through the George Woodshop store. And they are very detailed. They show everything you need to know to make this case, from the case joinery dovetails to just showing you what every component looks like ahead of time. So, so if you do want to make one of these yourself, you should easily be able to follow along with that. Now, there is also a cut list available so you know which components you need and how big to make them. For my imperial measurement friends, unfortunately, I do design in metric, so some measurements may not translate perfectly if you're looking at the imperial version, uh, but it should still be enough to let you know what's going on. And as long as you keep your wits around you and use relative dimensioning when you're building your case, you should be fine. Now, remember, George Woodshop patrons get discounts on all plans, or if you're the higher level, uh, so the $10 per month, you get these for free. So head over to my Patreon page, so patreon.com slash George Woodshop to get your discount codes. Or if you're that $10 per month uh, user, you'll also find your download for these plans. Now, as this is the first video for this build, we're going to start things off slow and just focus on getting the components cut out of these carry slabs here and milled to the S3S or square three sides, which is two parallel faces and then one square edge. Now, I already went ahead and I marked out all the components we need for the casework. So I've got the two case sides, I've got the top and the bottom, and I've also got the middle shelf. Now, I got those dimensions off the cut list and I also allowed for about 20 millimeters of uh, extra room in both the length and the width. So by the time we're done milling, we won't be left with boards which are too short or too narrow. Now just a quick tip for when you're doing marking out on slabs like these, get yourself one of these. This is a chalk line and using this, I can actually pin a straight line along one of the edges of the board and that gives me something to reference my squares off of, my rulers and all the things I use for marking out. So these things, they cost about what? five, 10 bucks, and they really do make life a whole lot easier. So from here, we can actually break this down using a circular saw and then take it over to the miter saw to do the cross cuts. broken down, I'm now going to mill it down to the S3S or square three sides, making sure I keep it above its final dimension of 17 millimeters. That way, if it does move around while it's acclimating to the shop this week, I will be able to come back, mill it back to be nice and flat, nice and square, and I should be able to keep it to its final dimension of 17 millimeters. <laughs> So there we have it, this stack of timber here will eventually go on to be our wall hanging tool chest. Now the plans call for 17 millimeter thick stock, but I've left this thick at 19 millimeters and that's because this is air dried timber and I wanna make sure I give it three to four days, maybe five or six even, to acclimate to the shop. And uh, that way if there is any movement, I'll be able to buzz it down at the thickness so it'll be nice and flat again and not be left with either an undersized board or twisted and warped boards. Now, that's all the woodworking for this video, and yes, I know it was pretty short, but hey, it's the first project of the year. We do need to ease into these things, you know. Uh, but don't worry, in the next video, we're straight into it with bandsaw dovetails and a couple of other cool things, which I think you'll enjoy. Now, now for those newcomers that aren't so sure about the best way to go about milling rough sawn timber like this and maybe would have liked a bit more instruction in this video, I've got some good news for you. In the, in the next collaborative video between George Woodshop and I Would Like, we're doing a full, full video on milling techniques using a jointer and or thicknesser. So we're going to be outlining everything you need to know from how to select the best face, which way to feed your boards, uh, where to put your hand pressure, and pretty much everything you need to know to get started in milling. So if you're one of those people, make sure you keep an eye out for that because that will be a really good video for you. So if you don't want to miss out on the rest of this build, make sure you click that subscribe button down there if you haven't already and stay up to date. And also head over to my Facebook and web page to see some updates, behind the scenes photos and things that you don't see in these videos. 
Now, lastly, if you want to help support the show, you can do that in three ways. So one is by buying the plans for this project. So every cent that comes in from these plans goes directly into the show and helping make it better and better. The second method is by doing a one-time donation through my, uh, my webpage's donation page, and you can do that at any time, and that's always greatly appreciated. And the last way is by becoming a George Woodshop patron, and that is kind of like a monthly donation you give to the show, uh, for, so a certain dollar amount, and in return you get rewards. So at some levels you'll get uh, you know, early bird access to content, you'll get discounts in the shop, so if you wanted to buy these plans, uh, you might get your 15% off or whatever. Uh, and also at the higher levels, so the $10 per month levels, you get free plans. So every plan from this stage on, you'll get for free, and you also get uh, exclusive content. So some pretty cool rewards there. So if you want to see all the details, head over to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash Woodshop, and you'll find all the details there, and you can kind of decide if you want to do it. Well, Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.